All right, everyone. So I am going to show you Cami. Um, now, if uh, you know, my school uses can Canvas, and Canvas uh, Cami does integrate with certain LMSs like Canvas and Schoology and some others. Um, so if your students, if um, if your school, if the LMS and Cami are integrated with each other, then um, when the students open you know, they go to click on a PDF document. Instead, I think there's an open with Cami button. We used Schoology last year and now Canvas, and so I'm still uh, figuring that out. But um, when once they open the document, here's here's my little Cami extension. All right, and um, I'm just gonna just gonna click on something just to write on. So. They would, so it's really for PDF like worksheets or anything that you want them to write on. And so over here, there's a draw tool, there's a text box, you know, and, um, oh, and what's cool about the text box, you can change the font size. I ask my students to type in 24 or bigger because, uh, because, um, I'm gonna say the default is 12 and it's like really super small <laughs> when you're trying to grade. Uh, so I ask my students to use 24 or bigger. Uh, you know, it does have equation abilities. Now I have the paid version. Um, the free version doesn't have every feature, but the free version does at least have the ability to draw or use a text box. And that's why I didn't start from my LMS. I started here to show you, you know, if you don't, if your kids don't have the paid version or if it doesn't integrate, just have them download it in the Chrome store. It'll show up as an extension. They can click on it, open it, and then they can, um, I opened a recent, but they can, they can open from the Google Drive or from their computer. All right. Um, so the free version definitely has drawing and text box. When you click, when you do click here and are ready to type, this um, toolbox opens up and it's got lots of different things. I haven't tried, I haven't even tried everything in Cami and I've been using it for two years. Um, a lot of times my students teach me stuff. Like for example, one day they said, Miss Later, do you know that there are emojis? in Cami, Of course they found the emojis, right? Um, but you can change the font, color, everything. Uh, there are shapes. There is an eraser. There is an undo button in case you erase something that you didn't mean to erase. And, um, and you can insert images. So, but, but, Inserting images, I know, is a paid feature. So, um, anyway, uh, the the select tool is, you know, a typical select tool if you just want to delete that way. So play around with it now. If you um, if you don't have a version, if you don't have an LMS that this integrates with, or if it's not integrated, um, then the students can just download and name the file, right? Um, and they can save it to their computer or straight to the Google Drive, just give it a name. Um, they can download all the pages or just some of the pages or whatever. I actually use Cami to separate PDFs. Um, when I buy curriculum on teachers, pay teachers or whatever, um, and it comes, it's like, you know, it's always in one big PDF, so I use this to separate, but that's a side note. Um, so they can download. If they ever have any problems, have them check and make sure they're signed in to Cami. Um, you know, you do need to be signed in um, to a Google account to use it. And if you have the integrated version, there will be a button up here that says turn in. And all the students have to do is click the turn in button and it's turned in. So if it integrates, that's really good, especially for the younger kids that, you know, it's just one less step for them. So if it's integrated, all they do is find the assignment that you've given them in the LMS, click on open with Cami, you know, they do their work, 
and then click the turn in button. It's super simple. There are a few more steps if it's not integrated. Anyway, I hope this helps. And um, that's it. Have a great year, guys.